Why, hello everyone. <laughs> Angelo O'Hare here, your favorite Las Vegas realtor. And of course, I brought my handy dandy. Her sidekick, Damien. Hi everybody. And today we're over in a brand new community called Lyra Collection One by Woodside Homes in the Sunstone Master Plan community. They, they just recently opened up this collection and the collection two has been open since May. They're about 50% sold out where this one is new and they have four different floor plans to choose from. Two are modeled. They also have three different types of elevations. Um, I don't know what the names of the elevations, but I bet you these are the three different types of elevations you can tell, right? This is probably your standard. This is more of your mid-century mod and that's more of your Spanish contemporary, right? Um, so we're gonna take a look here of the Atlas Plan 5. This is 2488 square feet. It's a little windy up here. Um, three to four bedrooms, three and a half baths, a flex space, loft, a covered patio, and then a 22 deep two car garage with the option of making it 24 feet deep. Base price is starting at $537,990. That's just the base price and does not include your structural options, your lot premium or any upgrades. And that price could change by the time you watch this video. Um, I think these prices are phenomenal. I love Woodside Homes. The monthly HOA in this community is only $100. It is a gated community. 55 of that goes to Sunstone and 45 of that goes to this Lyra community. And the SIDs are only $961 a year. So let's take a look at this Atlas. I do believe this is the only floor plan, two-story floor plan, that has what's called a home plus option where you can do a mother-in-law suite downstairs, which we're gonna take a look at that after we take a look down here. So let's do a pan. And then you walk right into a half bath. Then you have the living room, great room area with the dining room, as well as the kitchen probably the garage that's locked and this looks like a coat closet of some sort yeah with your smart panel in it i like how this community i don't know if this is an upgraded feature but i like having the double cabinets that way you can put your small appliances in there and it's a nice wider island for storage purposes i think this is phenomenal they went with the white shaker cabinets just like the other floor plan and i don't you know nowadays i don't know if this is quartz anymore if it's porcelain this um feels yeah, it looks like a porcelain to me, doesn't it? Yeah. It doesn't look like a quartz. No. Uh, there's so many different stones out there nowadays that you just don't know. Now, there's different appliance packages, and it looks like they went with the probably the lowest end appliance package. Or I don't know if this model has that option because um, they have this oven right here, the gas oven with the microwave above it. The other homes that we were seeing had the vent hood and then the wall ovens, right? Um but the, at least it does vent out. Some people don't like having the microwave over the stove. I don't like having it. So I'm not 100% sure if that's an upgraded feature. I like the drawer kind. Yeah, th yeah, exactly. The drawer kind. The drawer microwave. Oh, yeah, dra drawer microwave, yes. So they went with the single basin stainless steel sink. Um, another thing that we've been noticing that this, these don't have is the trash can yeah. drawer, mm -hmm. which we like having it. This is a smaller kitchen than what we've seen, I think, but it's a nice, you know, cozy, great room. Still a lot of cabinets in here. Yeah, there's a lot of cabinets. And then they also have the pantry. And it seems like none of the homes have the stairs right as you walk in, they're all hidden, yeah, right? That's nice. Home purposes. Yeah, a lot of people like that. For me, I like the big grand staircase because then you can show off the, <laughs> the, the staircase. You know, our house has that big grand staircase. So this has the Home Plus feature, which is the um, mother-in-law suite downstairs. So you have this, which is very nice. Not too many builders do this. Um, you know, Lennar, of course, is very known for it. And there's a few other builders that have, you know, started the trend in doing this as well. But this is pretty great. This is a great feature. The other collection over in the collection two, Leo, not the Leo, yeah, the, no, the, um, which the one was it? The Amber? The Isla plan oh. had the mother-in-law 
um, plus, but that was upstairs. Mm -hmm. So I like that it's downstairs because mother-in-laws don't want to be climbing upstairs. They do have a nice microwave. It doesn't look like a convection microwave, though. I would make sure it's a convection one. And they don't have a refrigerator in here. Yeah. Like with or Lennar. A, or a sink. Or a sink. With Lennar, they usually have a sink and a refrigerator and a convection microwave. Mm -hmm. So to me, you know, this is missing a few things. But they do have the pantry, right? <laughs> or a linen closet, whatever you want to make it. And they also have a nice size bedroom, which is a nice feature as well. And then they have the ensuite with the standing shower. So this is a nice feature. The same countertops as the kitchen, the white shaker cabinets. I mean, this is doable, right? But if it were me, I would add, and then they have this nice engineered hardwood. They had this in one of the floor plans in the other collection. Yeah, because you could have expanded this out a little more. Put a, You can still put a refrigerator here, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, a big pantry, but you can't really do Yeah, that. you need a sink. Mm -hmm. And then I don't know how I feel about when I walk in, I'm right walking into the half bath. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But you really have to go. <laughs> Let's take a look outside. It's a decent size yard with a nice covered patio. I say this in all my videos. When you buy new construction, the front yard comes fully landscaped. The backyard does not. And they only have one unit here because of the size of the home. And this extra pergola is just an upgraded feature. The builder does not do it, but they just want to show you what you can do with adding a little um, barbecue area and a pergola, which I don't think the pergola is worth it. Then you have the gate on this side because is it really making any shade, right? I don't think so. It's just a nice feature. They also have the barbecue stub out here too. Now I always say this in my videos and I forgot. I kind of just went past it. When you go to, um, when you like a floor plan, you're going to pick your lot. Then you're going to pick your structural options. You go into contract, you go to the design studio within a month or so, and you're going to pick up all your fit and finishes, all your upgraded features, right? From your cabinets to your countertops, to your beautiful flooring, to your appliance package, to your hardware, to also you're going to have a electrical package picking up if you want the pendant lights if you want all this extra recessed lighting if you want pre-wire ceiling fans in every room as well as picking out your wall texture we call this an orange peel and they have two different options they have the rounded edge or the square edge and they also have the santa fe and then i don't like the rounded edges this is traditional old school because then you look at the baseboards that are very, very traditional in my opinion. So then when you go to the design studio, you're gonna also pick out your beautiful flooring. This whole house comes carpeted with the exception of your wet areas, your laundry, your kitchen, your entry, and your bathrooms. Who wants carpeting in Vegas? Ooh, not me, not me. I don't want carpeting. I highly recommend if you were to upgrade on the flooring to put the hard surface flooring, either tile, luxury vinyl, engineered hardwood, downstairs, and then upstairs carpeting. And if you can afford it a little more, I would just make sure the bedrooms only have carpeting. And then again, if you can afford a little more, no carpet whatsoever, because people in Vegas, we're in the desert, we do not like carpeting at all. And they don't last long and they get dirty super fast. I like that all these floor plans do have a nice loft and a balcony off of that loft, which is a nice feature. These are nice family size homes. Even this 2,400 square foot is a great size. They have this nice storage closet right here for the kids, as well as a balcony. Ooh, I like these chairs. Now, my only thing is the balcony is beautiful. But when you have your neighbor behind you that's going to have a balcony too, how private is that really going to be? But the views are beautiful. But once you start getting building, how you're going to see the tippy tops of the mountains up here. 
Coke? Oh. <laughs> I knew it was fake. But the fake popcorn. Okay. Let's take a look at this bedroom. I'm impressed with the bedroom sizes though. I think the bedroom sizes have been very nice. Like this is a very good sized bedroom. Yeah. And I like that this one has a walk-in closet. I think for <clears throat> value, walk-in closets are so much better than those slider closets. So the fourth bedroom, so the flex space would be downstairs or you would make it into that home plus. So you do have the laundry room up here. It has the cabinets which are upgrade with the same types of countertops. Now I say this in all my videos, washer, dryer, refrigerator do not come with the house. That's something you can buy with the builder. I highly recommend you buying it on your own from Lowe's, Home Depot, Best Buy, wherever. And then you also have the guest bathroom with the two double vanities, perfect as well as the tub, you're gonna have kids, you're gonna need this nice deep soaker tub. I really like the tubs that they're offering. And I haven't seen any of them produce the generic tub shower insert, so I don't know what that looks like, but this is an upgraded tile. So when you go to the design studio, you can have the option of just doing the generic, or it's gonna start costing money when you start adding tile to all the bathrooms. Just FYI on that. Then here's the primary bedroom very nice size primary bedroom I just don't know how I feel to be very close to the other rooms it doesn't seem very private to me and, you know and I'm very honest when I do these video tours as much as I like to sell them I always like to point out pros and cons to all the homes and not just oh look at how beautiful this is and of course I have my own personal taste everyone's different but you know I'm a logical person so I think logically do I want it like that right I think this is cool to have the separate vanities the his and hers, hers and hers, his and his. Great feature to have. Um, that way I don't have to deal with looking at Damien's dirty shit. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I know, I'm just kidding. And then I like the separate tub shower combination. I do believe you could make this into one spa shower. But, you know, a lot of people do like having a tub in their bathroom. I don't know if I would do the tile because that looks very 80s. But I would do a, um, uh, an individual tub. Oh, like uh, freestanding? Freestanding tub, yeah. And also, I would make sure, at least they have a little ledge. For your leg or something? Yeah, they need a ledge, and that's smart because us women need to shave our legs. And sometimes I wonder when they design these bathrooms, they never considered it a woman's point of view. Uh, well, because women need to shave their freaking legs, and they're not going to be bending. Like a little bench. Always. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, Woodside has been doing it, but in these last few models, I haven't seen it. But since they have this insert, then they have it, right? And maybe a niche would be nice, too, because women have a lot of product as well. True. True. A niche would be nice. Then you have a nice little linen closet in your primary bathroom and your throne room. So this is a smaller home. Again, they have four different floor plans, but only two are modeled. Uh, to summarize, this is the Atlas Plan 5 at 2488 square feet. This is a great size primary though. Um, with three to four bedrooms, three and a half bathrooms, a flex space that could either be a flex space or converted into the Home Plus, which is a mother-in-law suite downstairs. The loft, which is a great feature. The covered patio downstairs and balcony, as well as the two-car deep 22-foot garage or 24-foot deep garage. Base price is starting at $537,990. Oh, look, they have the Spanish, modern Spanish, modern regional, and western regional. Ah, uh -huh, there you go. Interesting. Now, each of the different elevations are different prices. I've just been re reading the western regional prices. Now, these base prices don't include lot premiums, structural options, or upgrades, and it depends on the different elevation style that you choose. Uh, makes sense, folks? I think it makes sense. Anyway, let me know in the comments what you think of this floor plan versus the Leo Plan 7. I'm torn. Not sure there's pros and cons to both of them. I may like the Leo better, but I also like the option of the Home Plus. Now, when you buy a new construction home and you want to look at the models, you need to bring your real estate agent with you on the very first visit. They have a sign, plain as day, stating that they need to be with you. Then after they register, you can look at it as many times as you like. Um, most importantly, though, 
I am your new home sales expert. I live and breathe new construction. I've sold a handful of Woodside homes. You can reach out to me at... Call Angela at 702-370-5112. And she's an artist when it comes to working the deal. Exactly. Sometimes, though, on new construction, if the community just opened out and they don't have any move-in ready homes, there's a way of finding other deals or learning about the community and asking questions that you may not even know to ask. Right? That's exactly right. Anyway, guys, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button, and we'll see you on the next video. Peace out.